What's up guys, it's Alex Napier. Welcome back if you are returning and if you're new, it's so nice to meet all of you guys. So today I'm gonna to be doing a review on the Nikon D3400. This was the first DSLR that I bought last year. I think that this is a great beginner camera if you're new to photography. This camera is very lightweight, it's very comfortable to hold, and it's gonna be very easy for you to carry around all day if you're on vacation or if you're just using the camera a lot because you're trying to learn and get better at photography. One of the other things that I like about this camera is the fact that the LCD screen on the back is so big. It makes viewing your pictures so much easier. The screen brightness is good quality, so you're gonna be able to view your pictures on a bright sunny day. Nowadays, most people have smartphones and they're so used to using a touchscreen. And I think that Nikon kind of dropped the ball with not making this an LCD touchscreen. I think it would just make using the camera and going through the menu and changing your settings so much easier. But overall, the uh, menu is super easy to use and the camera is just great if you're not really familiar with using a DSLR camera. Now, one thing that I did find to be good with this camera is the battery life. I haven't fully tested uh, the battery life of this camera, but from what I've been told, it can do around 1200 shots on one battery life. So that's really good. Uh, another thing that I thought that Nikon did a really good job with this camera was incorporating the use of SnapBridge. SnapBridge is an app that you can download on your phone that allows you to connect your DSLR to your phone and directly upload your images that you took to your phone. So nowadays with social media being such a big thing in people's lives and you wanna take good quality shots on your camera to show all your friends, now you have an easy way to directly send them to your phone and then put them on social media for all your friends to see. I think that uh, that's a really good thing that Nikon did with this camera. Although I will say that I've had trouble with SnapBridge and I've seen a lot of other people complaining that the SnapBridge app isn't very reliable. It's hard to connect to the camera at times and it's just not very reliable. So that is a bummer. But when SnapBridge does work, it's great and I find it to be very useful. This camera does great with video now it's not the best, but it does do 1080p at 60 frames, so that's pretty good. But if you're looking for a camera that's going to do a little bit better or has 4K, you want to look at maybe other cameras like the new Nikon D850 or Canon and Sony cameras. Those typically do a little bit better with video. This camera does good, but it's not the best. The other thing that I found to be um, kind of annoying with this camera is the fact that there's no microphone jack. Now, if you're uh, like me who is a YouTuber or you do reviews or tutorials, it's gonna make using this camera a little difficult because you can't use a microphone. So you're gonna have to use an external microphone and then sync up your audio to your video later in post. I think that Nikon dropped the ball when they removed the microphone jack from the 3400 because the 3300 did have it so I don't know why the 34 doesn't so that is a bummer. Overall I think that this is a very good camera if you're new to photography and you're looking for a good beginner DSLR I think that the Nikon D3400 is going to be a great camera for you. That's all I have for today. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did go down hit the like button. Please subscribe if you aren't already and I'm also going to be doing a review on the Nikon D5600, which is the camera that I'm currently shooting on right now. So stay tuned, check back here shortly for the review video that I do on the Nikon D5600. And I'll see you guys next time.